Today on Free Will Fishing, we get to fish with Michael Bennett. He's an author, humanitarian, Super Bowl champion, fisherman, and I could go on and on. But you probably recognize him as a member of the legendary Seattle defense, the Legion of Boom. Yes, he's been on a few other teams, but his favorite stint of mine was with my hometown's team, of course. But I know him more for being a great family friend of ours and an awesome pillar of the community here on Oahu. Fishing with Michael Bennett, up next, right here on Free Will Fishing. All right. Hey guys, I am Owama fishing and I'm trying to get my very first Owama. Surprisingly, I've never Owama fished before. Well, no, that's not true. I've Owama fished and not caught Owama every time I've gone. So, so far I got a tiny kupipi and I have Owama right here at my feet today. That almost never happens. And so, I'm gonna try to see if the Awama will cooperate today. Guys, I still have not caught my first Awama yet, but I have hope. I have hope. There's a lot of little bait fish in here. I have hope that besides the one I got in there, that there's more. Thing take. Ooh, that's a papillo, huh? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Hey. <laughs> you want the uh, measure? Might be. I can sell. Try to uh. I'm right there with the bad stuff. Try to hold him down. Oh, yeah. That is not nine inches. Yeah, put him back right there so he don't die. Oh, okay, okay. Man, I was trying to make it though. What up, good brother? I got shrimp all on my hands there. <laughs> oh, you you got some? I, I had these in the house. I ordered some too, bro. I just like, uh, yo, I called everybody. Everybody was like, 15? Well, we only go to 13. <laughs> these are 14. Actually, my friend gave me these, and I just I was like, let me do these because the other ones never made it. For sure, for sure. So what I'm doing right here is uh i'm trying to bait fish yeah. i got one of them in there keep trying to keep them alive so that we can fish with some live bait yeah but uh yeah these uh these little awamas not cooperating i bought this too it might be dead now what's that oh the speaker <laughs> oh that's good see fish fish like good music yeah i'm here with a special guest my good friend mike here and you might recognize him from, you know, Super Bowl trophies and whatnot. So, <laughs> enjoy but, retirement, man. I hear fishing, trying to fish again. I do think we do, uh, the freshwater fishing, ocean fishing, is so different. Definitely, definitely. And so we're about to see those differences right now. So one of the main differences uh, that a lot of people um, recognize is 
how a lot of people cast here. Yeah, because I'm used to doing this. Yeah. Side cast. Yeah. That side cast is good, definitely for bass fishing. But here, you're trying to want to, you want to get over the reef, especially if you look, you see kind of like some rocks yeah, yeah, yeah. in the water. So you want to get right over that. So you want to kind of do it like a nice little teardrop. So like a shot, like 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 uh, Tony Parker like teardrop. Uh, exactly. He did have the best teardrop. Exactly. So you're going to kind of drop it in there. And then once you drop it in there, you're going to let it float, just like you see my dad doing over there. But what you're going to do is uh, very slowly start bring, bringing your um, your slack. So you want the slack kind of tight? or you, you Yeah, know? you want it kind of like tight. Like the freshwater, like catfish, you want to get them time to run with the, the, the stick the hook into right. them. What's exactly. The between that and um, the fish in the ocean, they, do they yeah. not run the same? Oh, no, they run like a freight train okay. out here. So one of the things we do to account for that oh, is a turtle. Yeah, right over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what we do, right, is we loosen our drag a little bit so that when you uh, let this go real quick. Yeah. So when they take it, they just, they take it enough, well, not that loose, but they take it enough to run but not pop the line. Yeah. All right, so we do have the lure pole that we have, and we're going to try to put some live bait on this and throw that out. So another thing we're going to do is um, that's different. Like when you catch like a bass or something like that, you just kind of crank it in real quick, yeah. right? Here, you have to almost baby the fish. Okay. So you just really want to get that angle so that that, you know, tension will keep it on the line, but it's going to run and then run and then run. So, it's a so fight, you basically. So basically it's a, a slow fight. fight though. Exactly. So you're going to have to slow fight it, uh, especially so the bigger weather. ones. So Mayweather. Exactly. Not Tyson. Not, Tyson. <laughs> not, Tyson. <laughs> not the 30 second bout. You know? yeah. <laughs> this this might be like the you know two minute bout. Depending on the size of the fish, it can be you know a little while before you really get it to shore. So you reel down and then slowly pull it towards you. Yeah. Let it run. Reel down, slowly pull it towards you. Otherwise, like if you try to rip it in, it's going to rip it right out of its mouth and it's going to so keep going. So another question I got, I know people, viewers might be thinking this too. Uh -huh. It's like, I feel like even in freshwater, like we'll have a bigger hook, but this hook is super small. Like yep. why is it smaller? Like why is it? Good question. Very good question. So you have certain fish that actually um, have really small mouths and big bodies. Oh wow. So you have, um, you know, there's like different types of surgeon fish or tangs that have these wide oval bodies and the mouth is just like that. So that's so different from freshwater because it's like you got the big mouth bass, right. the catfish, the right. crappie. Well, when you can stick your whole hand yeah. in the mouth, but no, some of these um, really, really big fish will have small mouths. So we'll have this small hook. We'll just have a nice, you know, tough enough line for it to, you know, still, um, you know, uh, bring the fish in. But that hook, in this area, you want it small just to account for all the different types of yeah. fish that you'll get. Now you'll have, um, you know, a 10 pound fish. Now that mouth is going to be big. So that's why we're putting the whole fish on this, uh, yeah. <laughs> on this pole right here. Um, so this is just going to target the ones that are like, oh, okay, something bite size. Let me go and get that. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to see how this works out today. I'm pretty sure we're going to hook up on something, you know? Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna see how you cast. I might not do the side cast, like you said. All right. I'm gonna try to go to it. All right. Woo! Don't All forget right. to put your bail up. Huh? Put your bail up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. There we go. Perfect. Go. Look at that. Open. <laughs> Open. <laughs> Perfect, man. Yeah. So you, you've done this before. <laughs> But I somewhere, can, somewhere. There's no wind in the lake. No wind right. There's no wind. Right. Like, right, right. 80 yards if you want to. Go. I know, right? Like, for sure. Like, you got to count for Like, fishing here is a lot different because it's almost like this. Oh, it's hold like, on. So, hold on. I want you to reel in your um your line real quick. Yeah. Just to get it above where the turtle's going to be. See where that turtle at? Don't get it. Right? No. <laughs> Definitely. So, start reeling it in. Oh, wait. You know what? I think it's I think it turned. I think it turned. So you're good. So another thing I want to show you is how I hold the um reel here. Yeah, you want to hold it just like that. Because oh not with your finger on the line though. But hold okay, it just so like that. Because sometimes something big enough, if you're not paying attention, if you're holding it just down here without the finger on the top there, it can take the whole pole out your hand. Yeah, and so I've seen that. So you, so you don't do no. Not with the uh 
Okay, so like, Cause then, I used to do the finger because it's like I can feel the, the water, but you can't feel the water because it's waves. Basically. Exactly. So that's exactly, you, you just hit on the point as to why we use that orange bobber. <laughs> You'll be surprised how fast it goes underwater. So be, be ready. So now, oh yeah, that's another turtle. All right. And no one gets, I'm telling y'all something on this TV. No one gets no money. You're going to jail. Pretty much. <laughs> so let's cast a little bit that way now. Just a, this way? Mm-hmm. There we go. All right. That's okay. So what I think is, is that you're um, releasing the, um, the finger a little too early. Okay. So this time you want to try to get it just in the middle. Sometimes you'll get it too early. Sometimes you'll get it too late. But let's try to try to like, like you're aiming out. There we go. Perfect. That was a good one. Perfect. So let's stand back a little bit, actually. I want you to stand back here, up here on the higher ground. Because this is definite splash zone. You too, Pop. Yeah. So let's stand back out of the splash zone and out of this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you did. Because you have one, you have some uh, octopus on there. And the fish love that, especially fresh octopus. Like I gotta buy you. Yeah. All right, watch that finger though. Because <laughs> when it runs, it's going to <laughs> just like that. You'll be surprised, man. Even even like a small fish, even a small fish here runs very hard, like that initial force. So start um, reeling some of that slack though. Mm -hmm. All right, now when you see that stick go up, it's on. But you see how much slack you got in your line? You want to just reel it in like maybe about five or six times. How was that my yeah. Uh, I'll bleep him out. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, I see it. Yeah. I see it. I'm tagging it. But as soon as that stick go up, you want to yank back just a little bit. So you yanking back or yanking up? Yanking back or to the side, 45 degree angle, either way. Either way works. So watch yourself. It gets kind of slippery if you're not stacking. I should like those shoes better though. Yeah, these. This is uh, Deep Sea. Deep Sea, man. Send us some, send us some boots. Man. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> right. We need, hold on, stop. Just breathe. All right. Now, come on. Now, I said stop because when that wave comes over, you'll slip. Just in an inch of push. That one inch of push will take you, sweep you off your feet. But if you just stay still for a second, and you'll be good. So, so, this is how I usually do it. Right in this area. Yeah, I guess because you're not going far the leaf, huh? Yeah. And I make sure that that tension is there. And what I do, right, is just slowly, just keep doing this, slowly. Already right, though? Yep. Because your slack is going to keep blowing. And then when you go to set the hook, it won't take because there's so much slack in the line, you know what I mean? And just last thing, just make sure you put that finger on the, it's almost like the finger on the trigger, so to speak. <laughs> but then you got it, that's it. And this is all we do. Keep casting. Now, with the bait that you got on there, it's gonna stay on a lot longer, but it's, it's not necessarily gonna get bit as frequently. But I just saw a big fish right over there. Hold on, let me, <laughs> let me look. But I see something else right here. All right, so at that point, what I'll do is just slow walk it. You see that? They was nibbling. And then if I if it zooms under, then I okay. I pull up to a 45 degree angle. Try never to go 90 degrees though. Yeah, because I pull out his mouth. Yeah. One, it'll pull it out his mouth, but two, um, it can like that that yank back can loop around your tip of your pole just that quick. All right, now I want you to reel it in because those little fish that hang out right at the base are going to try to snatch it in the hole again. All right. 
You took that off? Yep. Oh, did it just fall off? Nope. That that first bite might have got it. Cause I didn't even feel the fish on there. I know, and that's the whole thing, right? You gotta this stick is kind of like our um our test to see you know if something is biting it. But what happened is, and what's going to happen very often with this bait, this particular bait, is that although it's a guaranteed bite, it's almost a guarantee it's going to get bitten off too. It's all like worms. Yeah. But these fish so, probably don't eat a lot of worms. Nah. But they love this shrimp. And see, it's funny because they got like this expensive taste. They, these are the uh, the um, kawaii shrimp. They, you just buy the regular shrimp from, you know, the supermarket. They don't really like that. Go, I'm going to stand out your way. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Beautiful cat. That's actually a great area too. So now reel in your slack real good. Yep. Do about like 10 reels. And the only thing you can do is keep your eye on the bobber. Watch out. Here's a big wing. All right. So you're good. All right. So all you got to do is keep your eye on the bobber because that's all you can do. Because you're not going to feel it at first. Not all the time anyway. Yeah, it's kinda like, Sometimes you will. So but This feels like freshwater fishing where you're kind of watching the bobber. The crappie kind of goes under. Yeah. It takes a little bit. Not so much with the catfish because they don't really... Mm-hmm. So this means you got a bite. This means it's running. Yeah. And that's when you do that, that uh, 45 degree angle. Hey Mike, this how you, how you try to do it now. So as you see, I tried to use these gloves as a good way to thumb it without burning my finger. And that's probably not the best thing for me to do. Um, so as you see, it, it actually helped to bird nest because um, I couldn't feel how much pressure to put on the actual spool. Right there, right there or around that perimeter in general. All right, time to set up the other rod. Baby, hold up your ass. Hold up your ass, that. Hold it up. <laughs> All right. Now get that slimy bugger off of there. <laughs> you want this crap? No, no, throw it back. No. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Oh yeah, no doubt. So check this out, right? You see this bread? What I just did was break a piece off, smash it down all the way. We used to push this bread back in. Oh, there you go. Then you already know. Yeah. Some of you guys do like an abstract type thing. Mm -hmm. so but you, you got to make it as small as the hook. Yeah. Now the, the ends, since they don't dough as well, we throw those out in the, um, in the water to attract the fish. And then you'll know exactly where to throw your, um, your line at. So we're going to do that right now. I got a couple balled up already. Let's go and test that out. Let me see some of those ends from your bread if you have them. Alright, the challenge is trying to throw something weightless far. Alright, so follow the bread. 
but try to throw it a little bit farther than it. there we go especially out there this one right here is they're probably not going to come for it yet but you want it to be uh, kind of sizable so they'll attract all the fish over that's why i try to throw like a big piece out that's going to float oh there they go you see him over there where the bread is big fish came up and just was like wow so i want you to try to cast over there where that bread is floating at you can just lob it if you want to this is one of the times you can kind of do the little side side arm oh ooh, there they go there they go oh there they go here they come yeah yeah you see him yeah bring them back towards that that piece of bread floating you see him you got it all right there we go Whew. i wonder if they already got him no you still got bread that's cool but you can bring it back over there try to drop it Wow, they're right there too. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> now, what this rod is, it's called a heavy action as far as the stiffness of it. So it's going to launch it out a lot faster yeah. or a lot farther. But this will flip automatically, so you don't have to flip it yourself. Right. The other one, you got to flip it. That's nice, you don't have to flip it. Yeah. All right. It's our good luck bird right there. Every time a, a bird fly over my line here, I usually catch them. <laughs> all right, start bringing it towards you. Uh, look at them. They all right there. Or on the other side of this rock. Just kind of, yeah, just kind of drop it in there. There you go. Okay. And just bring it back toward this area. A little bit more. Yep, right in there. I'm sorry, I keep on forgetting I got these glasses on. <laughs> and you like, you probably like, what? What fish, man? What are you talking about? Oh, there you go. Get ready. Oh, pull up, pull up, pull up. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Maybe I'm a little bit. Maybe I'm a little bit. No, we not. You still on there. Whoa. <laughs> Christmas rest. <laughs> All right, bring them over here. What? Another one of the slipperiest possible fish. Wow, this is beautiful. I know, right? There you go. You, want, you got your phone on you? No, no. Okay. Well, definitely. I got it. It actually tastes great, steam. But we usually like them a little bit bigger. Just a slightly bigger. You see how you barely hooked them? Yeah. They got teeth. Yep. You see the teeth? Crack out the stuff. Woo! <laughs> Here we go. I told you that's the good luck uh, bird we just had. I want to touch him. No, it's going to swim away. <laughs> Thing look crazy, right? So it's a bunch of different types over there that was schooling up. So if you'd like to catch another, here you go. Boom. All right. Make sure you keep this at an angle. Yeah. That was light. It was like. You see that whole? Oh, never mind. You don't see it. But it's like a whole like okay. family over there. Yeah. Right above, right across that. Yeah. Not that far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they're all right in there. Oh, someone already got one. I see one. Yeah. Yep. Oh, there you go. There we go. <laughs> oh wait, he got off. Like yeah. 
There we go. Yeah, that's a that whole. Was a, that was a type of yeah. Was it lighter? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Just toss it right over the right. Just kind of do like one of these. Yep, perfect. There you go. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, did it get off? All right, casting. All right, something happened. Bird nest. All right, so you guys are watching. This is how you fix a bird nest. You do free spool, turn on the clicker, and then pull it out, kind of guiding it with your thumb a little bit until all of the, all of the uh, backlash, all of the bird's nest comes out, okay? And then turn your clicker off, you put your, take your free spool off, and you just guide it back on the line the way that you want it. Try to fill in parts that it looked like bunched up a little bit. And yeah, I don't know why that suddenly stopped like that. I don't know why I felt like it was a knot or something that just kind of didn't allow it to be great, but that's all right. There we go. I'll try this again. Okay. Take two. All right, casting take two. <laughs> Woo! Almost burnt my thumb. Glad there. Woo. That was hot. That was hot. <laughs> I'm so glad this reel was wet. All right, so one of the things you can do to prevent your thumb from being burnt, just like mine was, is to wet the spool really good, wet your hands really good, and also try to thumb the inside of the spool. There, On mine, you'll see it's metal, but on some spools, it is rubber. So thumb the inside of the spool. You got him? All right. So, Mike got himself a little Papio. I'm gonna come over so you can see. Nice little Papio. Two fish today, ain't nothing. There you go. All right, now this is the type of fish that has a uh, size regulation on it. it. Needs to be at least 10 inches in order to keep and we know this is definitely not that, but there you go. <laughs> oh, on the on the oh, we got a nice little tangle right now. That's all right. I'm gonna let this guy go. Peace, Papio. Got bait. That's good. All right, throw it right back over there. All 
I got it wet. There we go. It's coming right now. Oh yeah, for sure. Because what you're going to do, you're going to realize just how those little tiny adjustments work. Reel down and then point at the bobber. And then when it goes under all the way, keep reeling it, keep reeling it, slowly. Then when it goes all the way under, do that 45. Not yet. Not yet. You good over there, Mike? All right, so this is me on my way to put on a taco leg, which is a octopus leg, because the fish that I casted out the first time had gotten completely ripped off of the hook by something out there. So I had to replace my bait and recast. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, Pop. It's a small one. <laughs> Small guy. That's a small one. It's a small one. All right. Well. Yet another Papillo. Woo another one that is too small. See a nice school over here. There we go. There we go, guys. There we go. There we go. Alright y'all, so y'all see, put a nice Omilu. Yeah bro. Alright, we got Pop the Fish Whisperer, we got yeah. Mike Bennett right here. That fish right there, we're gonna throw a little salt and butter on him, saute oh. him. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's good eating, that's good eating. Definitely, pan fry kind of a situation, or you can eat sashimi, or eat it raw. Mm -hmm. Eat raw fish? Yeah. There you go, yeah. boom. There you go. Just a little bit over, uh, right <laughs> a little bit over 10 inches so it's definitely a keeper out of all the fish we caught and released today this one is going to come home all right peace y'all so y'all saw just another excellent episode pop the fish whisperer getting out stretching his legs we got michael bennett right here hit him with you the know. ginobili yeah <laughs> Parker, i was floated out there today right perfecting that cast real nice with it so as you see today was just a beautiful day on the water can't get much better than this absolutely turquoise emerald green ocean and black there you go <laughs> right <laughs> then as always peace, peace love and, and fishing. fishing all right <laughs> thank you for watching this episode of free will fishing featuring michael bennett stay tuned for more episodes who knows who we'll be fishing with next it could be you